Good morning, guys. Episode number two of Shed Tour, and we just woke up at camp, and I was brushing my teeth. I'm like, bam, there's a bull. And so uh, we came out here with just the binos. We're not really on a back on a hike or anything, but we've got some shed bulls right here by camp. There's four of them, and we're just looking for more because the more the merrier, the more knowledge you can gain. Uh, the quicker you're you can get into the zone, but we haven't seen any other bulls yet. It's first light uh, But yeah, I just want to say welcome to episode number two of shed tour if you missed number one Go check it out. It's on the video library before this It's killer day and uh, Yeah, I have a feeling that today's gonna be even better. So stay tuned All right guys here we go Matt and I put our packs together, got our snacks together, and now we're bombing down. We're gonna start off right where we left off yesterday because Matt found a big old uh, heavy brown right here. It was busted to heck, unfortunately, but we figured the other side's gotta be somewhere, somewhere semi-close. So Matt found it like right here in this little cut. So we're gonna split up. We got radios and literally just we kind of go wherever we want and each of us has a different mindset and we're just looking for tracks, fresh sign. And we're also going to be looking for my hiking sticks because I left them down here somewhere. And I hope I can find them because they're super, super helpful in this terrain, especially on the pack out. So let's go day two. What's your goal? A big brown, a big brown. And have a good attitude. That's one one brown. One, big brown. A big brown. So uh, one big brown and infinity others. Yeah. And if I find a 350 <laughs> bull, shaving. Shaving the facial hair. Into a handlebar mustache. I'm going to go, I'm going to try to top yesterday. So I'll go eight elk sheds. I'm not calling if they're brown or white. I like to find anything. So I'm going for eight. Eight. Let's go, guys. All right, guys. Just uh, found my first one of the day. Older than heck. Nice front. Sweet bull. We're gonna throw him up there. That's cool. Just up here getting across this rim. Hopefully, gonna start getting into some more sign as I get towards this bottom. And uh, yeah, my goal today is one big brown. Uh, anything else is gonna be icing on the cake. So let's roll. Well guys, I just found my first coos shed ever, and it's a flipping good one, I think. Check that out. Flipping massy, huge brow tine. Oh, that's so cool. Wow, guys, look at that. First coos shed I've ever found. Is it at least uh, solid enough for Holy crap, guys, guys. Oh my, guys. I think I just found the biggest elk shed I've ever found in my whole life. Oh, dude. Dude, dude, he's not even broken. Oh my gosh, guys. Holy crap. Oh, oh my. Guys, I am shaking. Boom. Look at that thing! He is so cool! Oh, holy crap, guys. I have got to match that bull up. Oh! Oh my goodness, look at the blood on the beam. Holy crap. Guys, I was just, oh, dude, I can't stop shaking. I was just coming through this wash right here and I was just on this pretty good elk trip. Oh my gosh, I keep looking at him, dude. Sorry, sorry guys. I was just coming on this elk trail and just walking kinda meandering and uh, dude I look right up the hill 
Oh, and there's this brown tines down. Oh, where is his other side? Guys. Oh, you guys, this is what I'm talking about. Look at that. Just curly points, his front, his beam. That, that is a stud bull, guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at those flipping points, how curly they are. Not like a super heavy bull, like I can't fit my hand around him down here, but like a solid bull. Holy crap. I'm sorry guys that I sound like a like an idiot right now, but uh, this this gets me going right here. That's that's the bull. I match that thing up and my whole trip's made my trip's already made with this thing. Holy crap. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so sweet guys, I just got to the top of this little ridge, spotted a brown right in front of me, walked up a little higher, and there was a second one. And then I realized they're both left. So we got two brown lefts to match up right here. So that's the first one I saw. And then as I got a little elevation, I saw that one. It's even better. <laughs> Let's check them out. Boom, that's a pretty one. Nice dark brown, busted second. And then we got this one, wow. Dang, that's pretty cool. Heck yeah, two sheds right here. All right guys, I am uh, kind of abandoning the matchup mission. Uh, I've been scouring this hill for the last hour and a half and um, no luck. On my Onyx, I've got like everywhere within like a 300 yard circumference just gridded. But uh, I'm going to come back probably tonight. Sorry. Probably going to come back tonight. I've almost gave up like five or six times. Like I go make a line and then walk the trail back towards the shed and I get discouraged and then I come back and see that giant shed and then it gives me like an adrenaline boost and then I go out and grit again but <sighs> over an hour and a half gritting and I'm, I'm just gonna keep heading up this wash go up pretty far I think and maybe find the other side I don't know but I think Hopefully this afternoon or evening I can get Eric to come down here and grit it with me. Maybe a, a new perspective or a new set of eyeballs will be all we need. But yeah, still pumped I found this one. I uh, just wish I could match them up. But it is what it is. We'll keep hiking. All right, guys, it has been a good minute. Um, about three hours since I found that last shed and I just barely started to get into more and more sign and come around the corner and there's another good shed. He's a long beamed bull but all busted up. He busted his royal and his beam and his second and third but hopefully I can find the other side. I'm gonna drop my pack here and do a few circles. There's a lot, a lot of tracks but check it out. Pretty sweet. All right, guys. It's my second brown of the day. Bloody base. Got a bunch of hair all over it. All busted up. That royal looked like it was probably pretty heavy. Like, bust his first, second, third, fourth, main beam. These bulls are brawlers, but. Not a bad bull. Not a bad bull at all. There's the burr. But, yeah, nice and heavy. I'm gonna 
leave my pack right here and I'm gonna do two or three circles there's there's a lot of sign right here so hopefully I can find the match to this one and a couple more I'm sure there's a couple bowls rolling together right here dude you got a nice pack full Dude, just wait till you get up here on top and see the sign. Tracks? Tracks and scat and beds. Ooh. Let's see. It's pretty oh steep, God. dude. <laughs> Holy sword. <laughs> That's a funny looking bull, dude. Hey, let's drop these things. We'll get up there on top. Here's, I got one deep. Oh, yeah. Whew. Yeah, how do we not have matches to like the best sheds? We can't match up the big one. Yeah, we can find all the little matches, but. Oh, yeah, dude. He's pretty, huh? Just wavy banana sword this one and this one were like 10 yards apart I was like what two lefts and I couldn't find their matches so, so it's still over there somewhere what's up guys so Eric and I just split up uh, we gridded that area where I found that last brown with no luck and I'm just coming through this bottom it looks like a nice white elk shed Let's head up there. Hopefully it's a hard white. It looks like it could be. And we're in a pretty good canopy. So there's a chance that it's not all chopped up. Oh yeah, the last year's. Last year's horn. Not giant, but not small either. Big beam. Oh, he's missing his third. Oh no, there's the third. Little stubby guy. Sweet. Nice. Looks like he got chewed on a little bit. Tiny pedicle. All right, guys, another elk shed. Last year's horn. His royal got chewed a little bit, but not a bad. Bull still really brown on this backside. Kind of cool bean. Sweet, we'll throw it on the pack for now. And if we find a bunch more, it'll get tossed. Try to fill up all the water, because this is the last water before camp. Cheese dogs again for dinner. Oh, you have soup too. The key to keep it rolling is you gotta, before you finish your first one, you gotta start the second one. My favorite thing to do is to lean it up against a rock, like so, right where you want it. And then you put a weighted rock, like so, on the stick. We'll leave that there for a couple minutes and then we'll rotate. That's the one I found, look at that beam. Where'd you find that? Oh, the white one. Yeah. Oh, sweet. It's a cool beam, huh? So Matt found three. Um, I found four, so I think for the total, if yesterday I found seven and today I found three, I'm at 11 of 100. <laughs> I got a lot of miles to put on before I find 100. But yeah, it's time to relax and rest the legs. The legs are a little tender. 
Camp pile is looking pretty good though. Uh-oh. My fire collapsed. Matt's gonna rebuild us. Gotta get some good cold in there for my hot dog. I just didn't want the wind to like shift that way and burn my tent. <laughs> I'm trying to play it safe. Ah, oh, what a day. We did like 10 miles each today. That's like a lot of this too. Yeah, that may not seem like a lot to most shed hunters, but in this country. Ooh. Well, guys, we woke up to some unexpected weather. And, uh, yeah, so we're just waiting out the storm before we pack up and bail. But we're going to do a little trade. Dude, I've been in my tent. How many hours have I been in my tent? Dude, Eric can sleep like no other business. Hand me the goods. What do I get? Dude, you get two. No oh, way. Man. What 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 can I ante up for your your chocolate, dude? How about some of this? Some tortillas? I'll take it. Any, I just ate one, thanks. Anyways, I've been awake since like five and trying to sleep and I just can't sleep. And Eric just is over here sawing logs, dude. Just so comfy and just asleep and I'm so jealous. So I've been pacing around because I'm impatient, but the sun's finally starting to come out and we're gonna climb out of this canyon and go get some real food. We were, hope we were hoping to, uh... what's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> He's alive, dude. Hey, we were hoping to get like a half day and then a pack out, um, but that's not gonna happen. We're just gonna have to bomb out of here. I put my boots underneath this little vestibule and got so lucky that once it blew in and the snow weighed it down, I got all the front of the boots were like three inches of snow right here. That would have sucked. But we got granola bars, so we're gonna grub. Then we're getting out of here. All right, we're getting ready for the pack out. So a couple things I always take with me is, is these trail packs. This is the the Hush Lemonade Ignite. So I'm gonna do that, it's early in the morning. I don't like to drink it any time, probably past like 4 p.m. because it is caffeinated and I won't sleep. So I'm gonna down one of those in my Nalgene. And then these electrolytes, these are just like, they call them STM, straight to mouth. I call them pixie stick, I think it sounds cooler. But uh, these taste really good and these are electrolytes. So we're gonna pound that before and a little Ignite. Um, help us on the push out of here. The sun is breaking through finally, but the wind started to pick up. I think we're leaving in a good time though. Wish I had my sunglasses because it's bright as heck out in the sun. But doesn't doesn't all the browns just look pretty dang good? I gotta take that chalk set out. What do you guys think? That big chalk set I found, is it worth taking out? Let me know. Just got my pack loaded up, and uh, Eric's over here finessing all his sheds. You gotta get creative when you find stacks like this. Yeah, dude, nobody finds more than old Derek <laughs> Chester over there. Look at that. Those are just the outsides. Guys, these are the ones that are gonna be causing the problem. As bad as I want them out of here. I don't know. Gotta risk it, dude. I do want them out. Would love to, would love to get that fix, that set fixed up. But I know they're gonna be in trouble. Anyway, Eric still has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, <laughs> seven more horns to put on his pack. Yeah, how many do I have on here? 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven already? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Elk sheds and a couple of coos sheds. Look at this barn. Wish we could have matched up that sucker. One of the heavier ones, but man, he's cool just because he's got so many, we call them beads. He's all beaded out. That's kind of one of the shed terms. But yeah, no match to him yet. Maybe another trip. Eric's got a pack full. Of, mine's about half a pack full, I think. Any other person I'd go with, I'd say I killed it, but Eric just makes you feel bad about yourself. <laughs> you did good, dude. You got quality. I got quantity. Oh, boy. I'm hoping that these aren't stabbing my thighs. They kind of rolled in as I tightened the straps. Oh boy. This will be my first heavy pack out this year. This is not a bad way to break yourself in. <laughs> why do we do it, dude? Oh, why do I do this to myself every freaking year? I'm crazy for this stuff, man. I live for this. <sighs> we probably got like a two, two and a half hour hike out. Maybe three. And that's pretty solid load. Feels pretty sturdy. It's strapped on there pretty tight. Hiking sticks. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good, man. Let's go. <laughs> Can he do it? Oh, he's going for the same method, getting low. Dude, this is the first time using this pack. So this will be a good way to uh, test it, you know? Don't worry, he also has his elk calls and turkey calls, by the way. Strapped up, dude. <laughs> he was messing with some turkeys yesterday. Ooh. Get some. Strapped up, son. Get some. Good thing he's got trekking poles, too. He's got a pair, I've got a pair, and I'll tell you what, they're game changer. Especially in the snow, these rocks. Not bad, huh? No. Do, do, can you, like I would say yours right here, these big straps need to come in. If you just bring it towards your back a little more. I might have to do the same. All right, we are both loaded. Ready to make this journey out back to the tracks. And uh, like I said earlier, with these conditions it's not really worth being out not in my opinion anyways i know a lot of people will be getting out and i'm sure they'll find in some but for me i'm more of a hamburger french fry kind of guy in this weather he speaks the truth <laughs> at all times let's get out of here there we go 360. damn dude bang beans for days You know what? Matt snaked me again, but I can't blame him because I would have never seen this. I had my eyes on this trail and he looks down off these rocky ledges and sees a big old brown. So I'm happy because I would have walked by it. So now we get to at least, we get to at least get one more pickup on this hike. Who knows, maybe we'll get more on the way out, but looks like a dandy bull. Let's navigate down there. Oh, he's not as big as he looked. Compact, huh? Yeah. He looked like a stud six. You tell me. Dude, I zigzag everywhere over there, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's... Yeah, he's nice. It's not huge. See how I was like... I literally could be anywhere because these elk do go everywhere. Dude, all that's going through my head right now 
taking my pack off and having to find somewhere to strap that. <laughs> Heck yeah, dude. It's a smaller one. His other side's got to be right here because we can only match the small bulls. Bombing down. I'm cutting trail. And uh, Matt tells me, brown. <laughs> he wasn't lying either. Look at that thing. Dude, heck yeah, man. That's a bonus. That's what you call just a freebie. Wrapped around this tree. Really cool, nice brown. Heck yeah, dude. Now you gotta find more room on your pack, bro. <laughs> Look at our trails. So those other trails are different years and uh, never found a shed right there until now. So we're gonna drop a pin. That way we know where to come back to find Matt's match. Guys, we're just flipping, grinding to get out of this. It's starting to snow again. We're up in those cliffs. And I look down and spot this, this bull, dude. That's what you call bonus. That's a, that's a bonus. Oh, look, he's like fat right there, dude. Cool it's bull. That's like, like an $80 antler. Yeah, dude. Super wow. bloody. Look at that. Crazy. He wasn't buried too bad in the snow or didn't have a bunch of snow on him. I wonder if it's like, I don't know. There's not a whole lot of tracks right here though. Anyways, I'm going to take my pack off to strap it on and i um, probably going to run 50 yards down this trail real quick and see what I can find. Oh. Yes. Oh, that was death. That was death. If I did not, somehow I, I lost my first light gloves. I had these little ones. Thank goodness I had hand warmers. I had two of them to get me out. So I think the goal now is to ditch the packs and Matt and I are both gonna change into as many dry clothes as we both have, I'm sure, because it's gonna be a, a cold drive out. But the hard work is over. Now we gotta organize these sheds on the Can-Am in, in a way that we can drive. Wow, that one's stabbing my leg. And steer. Ah, I'm trying to be careful with my chalk set because I don't want to break those points. You feel all that snow on the Can-Am. Jeez. Stick your hand, oh no. Dude, we had two days of heaven down there, but that completely That's wrecked That's my camera strap. Oh, there's a camera strap, how about <laughs> that? So yeah, we're gonna try to get this stuff set and get out of here, guys. So we're gonna put the big camera away. So adios for now, I got my vlog camera, but see you hopefully back at the truck where it's warm.